Uh, in this video, I want to describe how factures work. Uh, usually, at start, 3D Code offers to update the Blender uplink, so please confirm and update the uplink. All this is, will be completed automatically. Uh, this video is technical video, so I will describe everything using the simple sphere. Uh, Let's go to the Facturus room. You may read this description for better understanding. Uh, generally, Facturus is a way to uh, paint like with vertex color, but with vertex textures. Uh, you may apl apply simultaneously the color and the texture over the vertices. So you may change color and paint with different texture. Change scale. Uh, each uh, facture is apl applied to vertices. You see that density of uh, vertices is not too big. Uh, it's not too dense mesh, but you may uh, perform the detailization over the mesh using not just vertex color, but vert vertex textures. <coughs> Uh, each vertex has own color and own texture applied over the vertex. Uh, so the transition between two vertices is uh, opacity transition. If you, went, if you want more gradual transition between two textures, you may add layer and apply the facture using some follow -off. You see that uh, transparency changes very gradually if you are applying the facture using additional layer. Uh, uh, you may add the calls. Uh, for example, let's add oven the call. This is just 3D code logo. Let's choose factura spot. Yes, you see that. Uh, Facturus has uh, inner mechanism to avoid uh, the tiling. Usually, if you will paint, uh, if you will apply some texture, it will look tiled. You see that even with cube mapping, it has repeating features. Uh, but with factures you may avoid this. Uh, if you will set plain cube mapping, it will mix uh, different islands rotated between each other and uniform cube mapping. You see that it uh, mixed that islands, so the tiling is much less visible. You still see that some repeating features, but they are mixed between each other. 
uh, you may apply uh, factors with very different scale. You see the scale. Let's increase scale. Apply, remove, apply immediately. Increase scale. You see, it's much bigger scale. So you may create a really big detailization, really deep detailization of your uh, surface using uh, factorious mechanism. And you may paint using the conditions, uh, but to use conditions, you should first calculate the corresponding layers. Uh, so calculate occlusion or uh, calculate curvature. Uh, then you may use corresponding conditions. Uh, generally, uh, factures modulated on color. Uh, so, factures are usually close to gray color uh, in the in in average. So, if you're creating own factors use uh, great textures in average but even colored textures may be normalized there is uh, normalize the color texture then it will make the texture to be gray in average also you may generate the normal map using color of course it's a bit heuristic uh, so mm, it may not, of course, recover the initial bump or initial normal map, but at least it creates nice normal map. Uh, all this stuff may be... Uh, I, generally, Facturis uh, is not just like applying the shader to the vertices. It's... Uh, uh, dynamic generation of UV coordinate. Uh, for example, you may apply some factor along the trajectory. You see how it rotates along the pen. Looks like sort of rod. So it's called rod tool. Uh, you may not do similar effect with just shaders. Uh, all this stuff may be, ex may be, of course, bake it if you're using Retopo room and uh, may topology, you may bake it and export uh, as usual as per pixel painting mesh. But with current build, you may export it directly to Blender. Uh, let me remove the previous scene. Delete. Uh, exporting to Blender is pretty simple. Export mesh to Blender. Any name, no difference. Don't document. Okay, now open Blender. Yes, now it loaded the mesh. Uh, you should use this shading mode to look to view it correctly. You may adjust it a bit using the shading, but generally all uh, everything, uh, all settings like color, textures are brought to the blender correctly. Closeness, metalness, everything. Of course, uh, coloring a bit different because we are using 
different uh, environment. <coughs> uh, you may create own shader, own um, factories. You may take factories from shaders. Of course, it's not one to one exact uh, correspondence because uh, factories take color from the from this uh, picker but uh, at least normal map glossness metalness you may take from shader so may facture from shader uh, this is called like vert texture is the same as facture because vert texture means vertex texturing it's exactly what we do Let's try to paint with the new. Oh, no, not raw tool. Uh -huh. This is shader. <laughs> uh, or you may add a new factor using the plus and assign oven color, metalness, roughness, or glossness like you wish. Generally, metalness, glossness, and bumpness applied globally over every vertex that uses that uses uh, this factory. Uh, but scale, rotation, shift is individual for each application of uh, factory. So you may paint one piece with one scale, other piece with other scale with other rotation, with other mapping and with other color. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye.